in this example we'll talk about the law of sines and what is the law of sines and then we'll go ahead and work an example. So this is a triangle and it is a, is a non-right triangle. Um, so we're always going to draw a picture when we do any of these problems but um, try to draw a triangle that's not a right triangle when you're when you're working in a triangle that's not specifically a right triangle. Alright so let's just label the sides so I'm going to label this angle alpha, which means the side opposite is A. I'm going to label this angle beta, which means the side opposite is B. And lastly, I'll label that angle gamma, and the side opposite is C. So that's the naming convention for uh, any triangle. And the law of sines states that if we take the sine of angle alpha and divide it by side A, it is equal to the sine of angle beta divided by side B, and likewise, following suit, it's equal to the sine of angle gamma divided by angle C. So you simply would use these two, let's say you knew alpha and uh, beta and B and you're solving for A, well then you would use that part of the formula. You, if you didn't know anything about A or alpha, you could use this part of the formula. Okay, if you knew beta, B, and gamma, you could use that part of the formula. And if you knew something about alpha, and A, you would use this part and set it equal to this part. So you just kind of pick and choose the parts that you want to use. Alright, so let's work an example here. So here's an example um, where A is 8. So let me draw some of these in here. So A is 8. So we can get rid of this make this 8 and we know that alpha is 30 degrees so we'll put our 30 degrees in here and then lastly we know that beta is 45.25 degrees so let's go ahead and label that in there 2.25 degrees. And I want to solve the triangle. Alright, so this is what's known as a angle, angle, side condition. Because I know two angles and a side. Um, and we'll come back to that later, why that might be important. Alright, so we're going to solve. And um, this is how I set it up. When I when I do my little box over here, what I do is I look to see if I have, I call it a match. Alright, so if I know a side and the angle opposite, I call that a match because the whole line is filled up. So that means I'm going to use law of sines. So I'm going to use this part of the formula. And then I know angle beta, so I can use this part of the formula and solve for B. So let me go ahead and get rid of this to make ourselves some more room here. Okay, so we can say that we've got, here I'll work over here, I've got the sine of 30 degrees is to 8 as the sine of 45.25 degrees is to B. We're solving for B, so using our algebra, we're going to multiply both sides by B. Simultaneously, we'll multiply both sides by 8. So I've got 8 times B times the sine of, oops, nope, I don't have 8. This 8 cancels this 8. Sorry about that. Alright. Let me fix that up there. So I have B. There we go. B times the sine of 30 degrees equals 8, and again these B's cancel here, so 8 times the sine of 45.25 degrees. 
and I'm going to divide both sides by the sine of 30 degrees because I'm working a tri triangle problem I want to make sure that my calculator is in um, degree mode so at this point and at only this point am I going to pull up the calculator and type this in and I'm going to type it in all at one time so you're going to type all that in all at one time and what you do um, by typing it in all the way at the end you're going to save any kind of rounding issue to the end and when you do that you end up with 11.36 so let me fill uh, that part in I like to fill in the box as we go so 11.36 okay so let's continue to solve the triangle uh, make ourselves a little bit more room here let me erase this so the next thing I can do is I know that the sum of the measures in a triangle are 180. So I can, oops, I didn't mean to delete that triangle there. So then I can figure out gamma. Something like that. Oh, that's a goofy looking triangle. All right, so let's figure out gamma next. So gamma plus alpha plus beta equals 180 degrees. So gamma is going to equal 180 minus 30 degrees minus 45.25 degrees. And when you do that, you get 104.75 degrees. So let's write that in our box here. 104.75 degrees. All right, so now I'm going to use the law of sines to find C. So just like I look for a match up here, now I see I've got a match here also. So at this point I could use either one of them. It doesn't really matter, um, but I know I need to have this last one to solve for C. So let's just use the first one again. So we can say the sine of 30 degrees is to 8 as the sine of 104.75 degrees is to C. And before we get any further, I might as well refresh your memory that proportions, one of the cool things about proportions, and that's what this is, is a proportion, is that you can flip them upside down. So we can just flip it right upside down. So I could say that 8 is to the sine of 30 degrees, as C is to the sine of 104.75 degrees. And so now I just have to multiply both sides by the sine of 104.75 degrees. So that makes my algebra just a teeny bit easier. 104.75 degrees. So C is going to be let's write that over here. I'd like to show the whole thing on paper before I start typing it in. So C is going to be 8 times the sine of 104.75 degrees divided by the sine of 30 degrees. And when you do that in your calculator, you get 15.47. So C then is 15.47. So there's an example of using the law of sines to solve a non-right triangle.